Hi, so this is an exercise for intermediate players on shifts and slurs and combining those two things together. So this is, I'm using exercise number 14 from my ebook, 20 Favorite Exercises, which you can get off of thisisclasgoguitar.com. It comes with notation, tab, and fingering and everything. Um, so this is an intermediate exercise though, and I, you probably want to make sure that you've accomplished the previous exercises before doing this because you want to get um, an idea of what progressive technique means. Um, in other words, you're holding certain hand positions and you're doing certain things with the music. And as you get from one exercise to another, they get more difficult, but you're still maintaining all the good things you've learned previously. So this exercise is really great just for accuracy. I, I find it a focus exercise, a good exercise to focus myself. Um, it also combines two techniques together, which um, saves time, I guess in some ways, but you have to be good at two things already. You have to be good at shifts, and you have to be good at slurs. Putting them together will obviously be harder than doing them separately. So if you've gone through all the exercises up to this point, you should be able to, to do some of those things in a basic way. So the first part of the exercise is just the shift. So you're gonna jump from one C, like the C on the second string, to the C on the fifth, fret. So again, second string, third string, fifth string, third string, and then you're going to do the same with C sharp with your second finger. So C sharp or D flat. D flat, D flat, D flat, D with your third finger. And then you're going to be going to E flat with your fourth finger or D sharp, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to be jumping around and you want to do it in time. And just keep in mind when you're doing this, First position means kind of these fingers are kind of hovering over one finger per fret. So first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. And when you shift to fifth position, you're still hovering over one finger per fret. Don't let your hand go from like this to like this and the fingers are not hovering over their potential frets anymore. In general, you just want a good hand position and then your arm moves the hand around. So again, it's not your hand that's going to like slide up the guitar and like your arm's gonna follow. It's your arm that moves that perfect hand position around. So if this is the hand position here. That's also the hand position there. It doesn't matter whether you're here or over here, you're maintaining the same basic hand position. The arm is just moving it around. Um, besides that, just keep in mind all the same things that you've learned in the previous exercises, keeping your hand in a good position so the wrist generally straight, not thrown out. Um, don't extend the fingers, you want to curve the fingers, you want to be on your fingertips. Maybe most important with shifts is being close to the frets. You know, at all times, always being on the frets and on your fingertips. Second part of the exercise is introducing slurs into that. So from C to D flat is one, two groups. And of course, you could switch every bar. Um, when you're practicing this at first, just take one bar and loop it over and over and over until you're confident. Then add the other combinations. But it goes one, two, one, two. And it also goes into other combinations, two, four. And it also does all the same combinations with descending slurs. The great thing about these exercises, oops, sorry, talking and playing at the same time, um, is they, 
make you um, learn about the fingerboard. They make you focus a lot when you have to do the, the shift, but they also identify possible problems. So if you're doing slurs and your slurs are pretty weak on this exercise, maybe you should go back to the previous exercise where you're just doing slurs on a single position. Strengthen those until you um, try this combination exercise. So it's kind of a good reminder to keep going back to previous exercises and strengthen them. Because if you have trouble doing the shift and the slur at the same time, um, it might actually be just a problem with your slurs or it might just be a problem with the shift. So you just want to tackle all those things. But I guess the, the, the biggest tips I have for you is maintain your good hand position. Try to completely re release the energy when you shift so that your arm can just move the hand to a new position. Don't retain tension that will make you drag your fingers or drag your thumb behind. A lot of people when they shift, they kind of drag the thumb behind them. Sorry, I can't show it on the guitar because it's back here. But they drag the thumb behind them and then they end up with a weird hand position. But again, just release the energy, move, move the arm over here so the hand follows, and it should be fine. Whatever the combinations are. And you can make up your own combinations too. Um, you can do string a whole bunch of them together. Sorry. for all the different combinations that might happen in pieces. So that was exercise number four, shifts and um, slurs and shifts, a combination exercise, putting it all together. And it's just great for your focus. I find shifting to really increase my focus. Um, I think right before a performance, that's a great exercise to do, is to have to focus exactly where you're going to take something, exactly where you're going it kind of gets rid of some of the nervous energy and just makes you zero in on what you actually have to do to accomplish your, your task. So I hope you enjoyed that and I have a few more exercises that I'll be recording as well. Thanks very much.